Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of React Native. So today we are going to learn about the Google Places Autocomplete. So let's see how it's gonna be work. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's see how we are going to implement the Google Places Autocomplete. So let me connect to the Anydesk first. Let me open the Anydesk. And here we go with my Anydesk. This is the Anydesk, I guess, 99. Okay. Connect. Accept. Start now. And here we go with my code. Okay. You can see that. Mohali. We can make it Chandigarh. England. We can search. So this kind of search places we can add in React Native. So how we are going to do that? Let's see how we are going to do that. It's very easy, very simple, right? So I'm going to uh, show you how about which package I'm going to use it. So basically it is React Native, this one. React Native Google Places Autocomplete. So I have just followed the full steps like this one, okay, powered by Google. And uh, here you can see that I have just installed the package React Native Google Places Autocomplete. After that, I have just used this Google Places Autocomplete placeholder search on press whatever I'm going to press the data. It will show me all the details over here. Let's check the console.log if it is it is there. So I'm going to use Netherlands, right? So all the data of that one, description, this length, place ID, whatever that I required. So it will give me all the details, right? So you whether you want to send it to the uh, API part or backend part, you can want to send the location code, anything you can send it from here. And this is how we can implement the Google Places Autocomplete API, Google Play, uh, Google Places API in React Native, right? So this is the package we can use in our module. So any doubt, any query in that, just let me know in the comment section. I think it's very, very easy. Just go and uh, I just install this package and there is a line of couple of codes which we need to add. Make sure you uh, use the API key of that one credentials from your Google developer console. And here you need to enable the Google Places API. That makes sure, right? And uh, after that, there are some settings that you need to do. After that, this uh, key will enable and show into your front end as you can see that my case. Okay. So any doubt, any query in that, just let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.